barely a cloud in the sky. Picture perfect conditions in upstate South Carolina in front of this capacity crowd. South Carolina set to receive the opening kick after Clemson won the coin toss and deferred. Check in for the first time with Taylor Davis. Well, Lenora Sellers has run 139 times this season. That, along with running back Rocket Sanders, have had the full attention of this Clemson defense. Linebacker Barrett Carter told me the ground game is so much about tendencies. And this defense spent ample time in the film room studying that when it comes to Sellers' scramble ability. He said in an environment like this for a guy early in his career, we've got to shut down the ground game and force him to be a pocket passer here today, guys. Barrett Carter, numero zero in all orange. Joins Sellers in the backfield on first down, the Arkansas transfer. Inside handoff through the A-gap, and Sanders bolts ahead to the 30. Peyton Page, the tackle and a five-yard gain for head coach Shane Bieber. On second and five. Pressure. Sellers escapes. Still on his feet. What a maneuver. Lenora Sellers into Clemson territory. Dragged down from behind in the 31. On the inside, not just by Peter Woods, but by, by the entire defensive line. A great stunt. And this should be sack. Game over. Four guys are on the quarterback, but this is not just any quarterback. What he was able to accomplish at Arkansas before arriving in Columbia. He's been a leader for this offense and this football team. Tripped up across the 25. It'll be third and one. T.J. Parker, the tackle. Nick Harper goes in motion. Sanders. Patient run picks up the first into the red zone. Pocket collapsing. Sellers going to be brought down. The ball popped out. T.J. Parker crashing the pocket. No signal yet. And an early turnover. Clemson gets the football. This was crashing down to the turf. And that gives him his 10th sack of the season. It's one thing to win in your one-on-one. -on -one. It's a whole other thing to finish. T.J. Parker has excellent hands. And those hands get the offensive lineman's hands off of him. And those hands also force the force fumble. That early miss in the game. Struggles well documented. Quick strike, Antonio Williams escapes one tackle. Not the second ahead of the 40. It's a first down. Jalen Kilgore. And as we see, this this team is going to try and go fast, but Kate Klubnik is going to get the ball. Her defense steps up to the table on the ensuing possession. Lenore Sellers gets it back. Here's the screen. Rocket Sanders to the edge. And a big play on first down. Sanders darting across the 35 in a gain of 20. Clemson went early even though they didn't finish. And so what does Dow Loggins, offensive coordinator for South Carolina, do? He says, okay, if y'all want to win in the pass rush, we'll let you win. Larva Dan in motion. Gamecocks need six. Sellers delivers. And that's a chain mover. Larva Dan from that slot position on third and six picks up eight from the interior of the offensive line. They brought five or six, and there's a clean pocket for Lenore Sellers. If that can maintain throughout this game, it could be a problem for the defensive backs who love to play man-to-man. -man. And a pathway at that point. Tigers get it back. Klubnik goes deep. Off the carom! And grabbed by Brian Wesco Jr. And he, he was covered, Roy. Like, this ball probably shouldn't be thrown. Judge Collier is all over Bryant Wesco Jr. Bryant Wesco Jr. and Kate Klubnik do not care. That's elite level concentration. He's meant everything for this offense and their big play potential. Klubnik, quarterback draw and sniffed out by TJ Sanders. Watch him on tape. He does a really good job with his hands. This time, watch his eyes. He's essentially spying the quarterback coming back in. On a sack on the rushing attempt by Klubnik. It's third down and nine. Penalty marker flies. Could be a free play. On the back shoulder to T.J. Moore. And it paid off. So from one freshman to another, not quarterback. No, that's the other freshman receiver. T.J. Moore 
from Tampa, Florida. 6'3", 200 pounds from Key West. And once again, we heard it from Dabo Sweeney. He says, man, I like my receivers in this matchup. Or South Carolina's opportunities as well. And Vanderbilt's a team that loves to play with the lead. Klubnik floats one deep as Williams. Double coverage. Hauled in again. Kilgore and Smith had him sandwiched. Third different explosive play by the third different receiver. This time it's not the freshman. This time it's the... And even later tonight in the rough and rugged Big 12. Klubnik's going to take off. Klubnik with a touchdown. And the Tigers strike first in Death Valley. We talked with Dabo Sweeney. He said there needs to be a change at times from K. Klubnik to be from a quarterback to a weapon. Harbor and the rest of these receivers are going to get open. Tigers show a 4-3 alignment, and there goes Attaway into Clemson territory. A burst off the bench for the transfer from North Texas. Give him 21. Finds a way to find the hole, and this defense loves to play a lot of man-to-man. -man. The issue with man-to-man -man is when you get out of your gap, there's third and short situational football, got executed up front. Seven in the box for Clemson. Attaway straight ahead, churning the legs. And the drive stays alive. Barrett Carter able to bring him down. Great job by Attaway again. And this time, you only need two yards, so you're going to see on the inside. So the offensive line so far, led by Vershawn Lee, has done a great job of creating space. After four straight runs, Sellers stays alive. Sellers inside the 10. Tumbling towards the front pylon. And the signal is a touchdown. The touchdown. freshman quarterback reached the end zone. Magnificent. Brilliant. That's brilliant. He thought Terrell would be just fine in coverage against Harbor. Crossing route, and it is corralled. That's enough for a first down. Jared Brown in traffic. We talk about it again. Hampton 6'2", 200, the freshman. But Hampton's trying to finish as well. This time he doesn't get the ball out. So great job on the reception. Bring your pads. Sellers kept it. And off the dump off, Terrell snipped it out. Josh Simon with the grab. So Avion Terrell is in coverage, but he's watching the ball. So great job with his eyes. Clemson showing pressure. Wood has on the move, and Sellers going to be dropped at the 30. A loss of three. But also keep your eye on Peter Woods on the inside, number 11. So Woodass comes through free, but Peter Woods used his hands. So Fundamentals preached to us by Shane Beamer and Dabo Sweeney. Williams in traffic, picks up the first. Third and five, a gain of nine, and the drive begins there. It has three timeouts. The clock isn't necessarily against you, but start speeding up. You have some momentum. For Klubnik, 157 yards as Moffa checks out. And here comes T.J. Moore. Late shove out of bounds, no penalty marker. Gain of five. So we're going to see this T.J. Moore on the sideline going to slip towards the end. Scoop and score early. Klubnik steps ahead again to the edge. And Klubnik racing out of bounds. Rolled out of the 35, an outstanding block by Jay Haynes, a freshman running back to Phil Maffa, but what was even bigger, this is supposed to be a shot play, and so Kay Klubnik turned into a weapon. We talked about it. Nothing's there on the shot. You wondered if that would creep up today. It has. And Haynes, his replacement, driving the legs ahead of the 25. Timeout on the field for a player. Great job by the offensive Let's line here. First down. Just getting pressure, and then Jay Haynes doing it by himself. Offensive line gets a little bit of push. Off the field under his own power moments ago. Snap in the red zone. Klubnik's going to take off quickly. Klubnik into the end zone for the touchdown.
Decisions, decisions. This is an RPO look, and the RPO was not open. Notice the eye. So the quick decision, as soon as it's not there, you tuck it and go. So great decision making by quarterback Cade Klubnik. Nothing's available early. You take what's there, and then you don't try to extend the ball out of the end zone. No, you protect it. Brown motions out, is wide open on the wheel. Jared Brown with a first down. As a defensive end, you're not used to being in that situation. So that running back essentially motions out. Parker has to widen out with him. You know if that's your man, you have to widen out. He's back in the lineup for head coach Shane Beamer. He'll set up the screen. Sanders broke one tackle, now two. Ball is stripped from behind. Who got it? Avion Terrell forced the fumble. Clemson recovers. Turnovers are what are going to determine this game. Avion Terrell, Terrell, Terrell punches the ball out, then rips it away, and recovered by Barrett Carter. The Nagurski Award finalist. Taking the ball away, and so that's what we're seeing. Gomapa back on the field. Play action. The slant route is there. That's going to be a first down and a lot more. Brian Wesco. Stumbles in South Carolina territory, a gain of 23. Texas swagger, a little bit of that elusiveness. Yes, he's a freshman, but he has so much confidence. Would be about a 54-yard field goal attempt from here. Here's Klubnik. Had a crease and is bent backwards awkwardly. Alex Huntley and T.J. Sanders. It is enough for a first down. So Klubnik had a couple options. Number one, he had the option to go out wide. Wasn't available. And so they ran this play, essentially a quarterback power play. Wesco in motion. Klubnik fell down. And what was going to be a trick play, it is blown up. Yeah, an unforced error. So, yes, Phil Maffa was down, but he did not have firm control of the football. And so as we're looking and saying, okay, he's trying to pitch it back. No, that's a backwards Pass, essentially a fumble because there's no control. But remember we talked about Matt the turnovers in this game are going to be critical. Ohio State, Michigan, big time. Klubnik on first down, going to be gobbled up and driven down. Bam Martin Scott. A great job by Martin Scott winning on the inside. He beats Ryan Linthicum at center. Linthicum's going to look to the left. God, thank you. A big game with playoff ramifications as the Gamecocks get it back. Nick Harbour shoved out by Khalil Barnes, and the Gamecocks on the move. Yeah, Nick Harbour is 6'5", 235, but what's more important is the pocket piece. There's not too much pressure, so Harbour has time. Six plays of 20 yards or longer so far for the Gamecocks. Sellers back on the ground, and another first down. Tripped up in the 32 by Mickens, a gain of 14. Getting the ball into their best player's hands, Lenore Sellers, takes that quick glance and then he follows his guard. Here's Sellers across the middle. Intercepted at a 10. Khalil Barnes broke on the football. Clemson gets it back. Score a year ago in Columbia, that was the difference. A big one here. Well, he switched his number to number seven. Change field position, so don't beat yourself. Sellers wants to run. Dancing across the line of scrimmage. Still on his feet. Dragging a Clemson defender. That was Lewis out of bounds. He's, he's not human, Roy. I mean, Peter Woods is, is, a, is right there. And there's nothing. R.J. Mickens is there. There's nothing. I mean, this guy just does the same thing. His career long of 46 on the way, and Herrera makes it a four-point game. Time for Sellers. Eludes the pressure. There he goes. Lenora Sellers again to the end zone. He made it. the lead and R.J. Mickens remains Tom down on the turf for a player injury how
Jenkins helped up. And unable to put any pressure on that left leg for a moment. Some 9,000 South Carolina fans made the trek up Interstate 26. Are quiet, but now no longer. 17 to 14. This man may not have won Mr. Football in high school, but he's keeping receipts. Lenore Sellers is him. All game long, all season long, he has been putting the team on his back. Five game winning streak coming into this game. Was injured earlier in the season. Nearly beat LSU, got hurt late in that game. But he just sees the field, but not just the field, he sees and feels the pass rush. When the ball's in his hands, he is nearly impossible to stop. Lenora Sellers becomes the first Power Four Conference quarterback. Lenora Sellers, a career afternoon. Trying to write his name into the lore of this rivalry. Front and center. Two plays before a potential field goal attempt. Klubnik buys some time. It wasn't picked off. Was it intercepted? It was. Knight picked it up. Off the fingertips of Maffa. Knight the interception and the hero for Carolina. Rolling on the field, interception by the defense. First down, South Carolina. It had to be, Roy. It had to be Demetrius Knight, the leader of this team, the leader of this defense. The guy who's been putting the team and the defense on his back. Unbelievable job. Going to see a tip pass, but Knight... Gets his hands underneath, keeps the ball from hitting the ground. And that's what leaders do. You may not do all the talking. But when the plays are available to be made, you make them. Unbelievable job by Demetrius Knight, the leader of the Gamecocks. Clayton White told us this week he's the old soul of this defense. He's married, has a family, and he just made the play of his life. For South Carolina, the Gamecocks find a way on the road, 17 to 14, the final.